G'day and welcome back to the garage. Today, we get it rolling. Righto, well since I saw you last time, I have done a couple of bits and pieces to the brakes and I do have rear brakes now. Um, so basically, you press on the brake pedal, it pulls on that rod, which goes on that rod that you put on underneath, which connects to this guy. And that rod goes all the way to the back, brakes, and see that operates the back brake, and that's on both sides. So I had the parts to do that. What I don't have is the right hand side brake, uh, handbrake rod, which works the same way. I don't have the rod from this pivot to the handbrake lever here which we have to make, and I don't have the front rods, so they work the same and go to the front. I've got is some uh, brand new 3.8 bar, round bar, and um, tap some threads, and I've also got to make some ends, which we can do pretty easily, so we'll do that shortly. Guess what just arrived? There you go, 1932 versus Model A. And lines up absolutely perfectly. That is awesome. Let's get this together. Check this out. So for the front brakes, um, I need to flatten the ends of these two out so I can make an eyelet with a hole in the centre that fits on this front brake actuator through there. So I've just lit the forge up and we're going to go and do it in the forge. I haven't been in here for a while. With the rust on the top of that. Yeah, so like I said, on the end of these bad boys, I have to flatten it out and um, make it so I can put a hole on it. I'll show you what the original ones look like, but I've already fitted them to the car. But trust me, they'll be exactly the same. One of the reasons I started blacksmithing was to make hot rod parts, so yeah, it's only taken, what, a year and a half or something. Hey, I'm doing it now. Simple as that. Ran it off through a hole, and um, on the other end, we need to put some thread and then make up some. Uh, female brackets that we can put onto those actuators. So here's a better look at what we're doing. That's going to slide in there, there'll be a hole in that, and then that rod will be connected to that actuator. Simple as that. So yeah, pin goes through that one, and for here, I need to make up the same as that, which I will make out of, I'll show you, some of this square bar, and um, I'll thread the inside and um, round her off a bit to make it look a little bit more original and square and we'll be laughing. 
brakes. Simple as that. Bam! Two little bracket thingies. For free! Look at that! It's time to play What's for Lunch! That's right, we've got the good old Aussie meat pie. And these are the ones with the cheese in them, I love them. Let's get this thing cooking about 50 minutes at 200 degrees. And we'll be uh, shoving that in my laughing gear. BAM! I don't know about you, but I can't have a meat pie without tomato sauce and chilli sauce. And then you smash it all in there. Yum! Beautiful. Nice. Four wheel brakes now. I don't know how well it's going to stop, but it's got brakes. Brakes like a billy cart. Well, that's it from me today. Well, at least this episode anyway. I'm pretty happy. I've got a steering, stopping, and rolling chassis. And um, she's not far off running, actually. Got a few little other bits and pieces to do. And. Um, we can start getting this body together. I've been doing bits and pieces and um, still waiting on a couple of parts. But she's getting there very fast. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay tuned, be good to your mates, like, subscribe, all that stuff. I hope you enjoy it and um, I will see you on the next one. Cheers.